Greetings everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Alex here and uh, in today's video uh, it's, it's just a bit of a different type of video because uh, we are doing a sort of a podcast longer format one. Uh, I am obviously working for Etihad as an old uh, school, old. <laughs> right? And you're a new joiner. I'm a new joiner. So we're here with Nali today. You yeah, can you Nali, pronounce my name? <laughs> yeah, I'm Nali from Thailand and I just joined Etihad for like now it's like three months. Three months. Three months. Since the joining date. Since the joining date. It's 18 July. Nice. It, you came in during the summer, like the most it's heated very hot. time. It's very hot, yeah. Even now. Yeah. When is it gonna start like cooler? Actually right now. So now it's October. Okay. Uh, we're going towards November, so it's already starting to get cool. Okay. Like yesterday I was outside and it was super nice. So yeah, depends, but uh, good season is coming. Okay. But uh, regardless, you are welcome here. So you're a new joiner. Um, you just came to Etihad. You just came to Abu Dhabi. Yes. And basically, in this video, we just want to, you know, see how is your experience so far. Okay. Uh, don't <laughs> consider it as a, I don't know, interrogation kind of thing. You know, it's just it, we're just talking freely. Mm -hmm. It's just a casual talk. So we're just gonna. So we're gonna start it. with the tea. Cheers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cheers. All right. So um, first of all. You're from Thailand. How old are you, if I may ask? Uh, yes, I'm 28. 28? Um, yeah, and then at the heart, we have the like minimum, right? The minimum age is 21. Yeah. So 28 is like quite old when I fly and then everyone like, <laughs> oh, how old are you? May I That's guess? Not and, then, <laughs> and then, uh, can you guess? And then like, you know, manner, we have to guess like lower than we think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and everyone like, are you 21? No, just too much now. So I'm 28 and uh, I have some previous experience of flying before. This is my second month and it's really, really good so far. Okay. And the training here, it's fantastic. 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 How is, uh, how is the training? Uh, uh, for, like, uh, how did you find it? Because obviously we've been to a different airline. So uh, first, when I came here, Mm -hmm. When we start the training, they're gonna have like three induction days like that, like welcome to Air to Hat Airways, which is very warm for me. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. And then we have uh, the second day is about the style and image, mm -hmm. which is really nice because when we know the standard already, after that, when we do the training, when we flying, so we make sure that we know all of the stuff that we can, uh, we can do and we cannot like about your tone of the lipstick and the what, how can you do the hairs and stuff and everything which is really nice i like this one so you're gonna bring your own makeup kit and then they're gonna check that this color um, is right one or you have to buy the new lipstick like that and the nail polish as well it's very nice and then the awesome. the third day is about uh it's a medical check the medical check. Mm -mm. Oh, actually, on my channel, I have quite a few questions about the medical mm -mm. check. Like, people are scared. Oh, I have Even me. this issue yeah. and that issue. Before I'm I join, sure. I yeah. think a lot about this because, you know, when it happened here already, we moved already. Exactly. And then we don't want to exactly. move back. And exactly. then if we finish everything in our country and then we just come here and, and make sure that we can fly, it's nice. But now we have to do it here. So maybe we concerned about something. But to be honest, it's it's fine like if you don't have some serious stuff or something everything is fine because it's just like you know we just check like you can fly properly but if you're not fit to fly it's ma it, it makes sense that yeah absolutely yeah, no, that, right? that's, that's what i tell to the viewers all the <laughs> mm -hmm. time like guys don't be scared if you have some scoliosis or something like minor i have scoliosis i'm a bit like this with, with like, my back you know it's not a big oh, yeah. deal mm -hmm. it's not like um a medical hazard or something obviously yeah. if you have maybe diabetes or maybe other things mm. that's a different topic right it's a different story maybe we need to to take a in-depth look on, on that but uh, <laughs> otherwise you guys are fine you know once you reach abu dhabi once you're here and you start the training you do your medical uh, your your medicals mm -hmm. it's gonna be fine like you don't have to worry too much about it yes and then it's fine so in one week we will get the actually there's no result it's just someone that has to repeat to do something like urine test mm -hmm. even me and some of my friends have to do a urine test again and then after that all of us are, we pass and then we get the license this is very important when we fly every time they check the license the medical license the cabin crew license 
What, what yeah, else? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah a lot of things. Yeah. Good documents, yeah. yeah. So, so before of each flight, mm-hmm. we have a we have a mm-hmm. pouch. Mm-hmm. We show this pouch to the cabin manager. The hey, documents. this is our documents. Yeah, and, and this is one of them that we we have to make sure that we have. So we need correct, to do yeah. the the medical check properly. Yes. Yeah, and then just three days. So this three days, you know, it's quite passed very fast because then the four, the 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 fourth day we have to start the property. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think since the first week, you already kind of go in depth of a, a few things. Mm-hmm. But yeah, kind of the fourth day, right? The fourth day, fifth day, that's when you start. Mm-hmm. And then obviously the f- next week is a full training week. And yeah. I think even tests, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, you have the second week. Well. Yeah, so basically you, those three days you do, uh, I don't know, SAP training or something, aviation health. And then at the end of those three, four mm-hmm. days, you have a test. Mm-hmm. And this is how it goes throughout the training. Yeah. Yes. Do you have nice trainers? Yes, of course. What should I well, say? You, you can already say no, right? <laughs> no, joking, yeah, I I'm had, joking, I yeah, had, I'm yeah, yeah. They're very nice. Like they're very nice. Maybe I'm lucky. I don't know, but I believe that all of the trainers have, like, they train to be trainer, so mm-hmm. they know how to how to communicate with us, how to tell us that you know how to how to make us understand the thing, and then. More than that, we have the stimulation down there, you know, in the, uh, in the, academy, in the academy. Sim- uh, simulator, the simulator. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> we have a simulator. Yes. Like, um, it's a mock-up of the real airplane. Yeah, so that's how we can yeah. understand things and we can, we don't have to imagine things because we can see. Correct. Yeah. We have it's, it's the same like on a normal aircraft, basically, mm. but it's in the training during a supervised uh, environment. Yes. So it's it's pretty cool. Like, and there's the one uh, mock-up that's actually a simulator that moves. The yeah. turbulence. Yeah, yeah, that one is very it's, dizzy. <laughs> yeah, 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 but it's really nice because we can practice to do the service. Service and the nice. safety and yes, all those. Yes, and uh, everything, even the first aid, we we did it there. Easy to understand and easy to, like to do it for real in your real life when you see the aircraft for real. All right, so you finished your training. Mm-hmm. Um, how about flying? Wh- where was your first flights and first layover? First flight Yeah. was... A turnaround, right? Turnaround. I knew it. Cairo. Cairo flight, okay. And then uh, my first flight, I flew with a narrow body aircraft, which yeah. is uh, 321. 321, yeah. Uh, it was a nice, nice flight because when they know that you do the soupy one, like when they know that this is the first one of yours, they're going to treat you like, not that like, oh, special, you don't have to do anything. Of course, you have to see many things. You have to, even the CS, like the, the cabin senior, she has to show you a lot of things for real, like how do we board, what is, where is the equipment, you can try to do it yourself. You can touch the door the first time. Yeah. Just for the <laughs> viewers to know, uh, mm-hmm. what she's basically referring to is mm-hmm. the first flight, which we call a supi flight. Super flight. Uh, that means it's the first flight that you have a training on. You you have hands-on experience of uh-huh. what you can do as a cabin crew. It's basically a training flight. There's two training flights, right? Yes. You had two? Yes, yes. One I for had narrow two. body, 320, one for 78. For me, yes. Three, uh, seven, triple seven as well? Seven, no. Not For me, seven. just okay. seven, eight, seven. It's okay. turned around as well, like Bangalore. Bangalore, India. Mm-hmm. But, awesome. uh, but it was uh, seven, eight, seven, that's nine. Okay. So uh, we have two Subi today, like that day, the, the 787, we have two Subi. Uh, she's my batchmate. Okay, so, so you and your batchmate <laughs> were on the, on the same flight. Mm-hmm, but we're, we're not in the same yes. area. Yeah. Yes, yes, because uh, she was sent to the uh, CM. Mm-hmm. So for me, we be in the back with the CS. So mm-hmm. yeah, and they show us a lot of things. And the thing is the Supi flight or the training flight, something it's very, for me, it's very nice because it's the first time that you see things. And then the first time that you can have mistake, even you like, if you're not sure about things, just ask and every one of them, not even the CS or the senior, like, everyone like all we'll, of the we'll crew you, yeah. yeah they will help us we know that you're you're new and then they will they will guide you they'll try to help you mm-hmm. and everyone very kind very kind very kind that's good yeah that's a good point that's, that's a good how about the first, first layover where was your uh, first layover base 
My first layover actually is supposed to be Barcelona. Okay. I really like Barcelona. Barcelona is great. You know, Barcelona. my first uh, roster, I got four Barcelona. Four Barcelona? Mm -hmm. But, four of them. Yeah, How is four. it possible? Because I because I bid for it, ah, and then I it. didn't put the the maximum per month, mm -hmm. and then they give me for wow. selling it. Mm. Okay, just yeah. for the viewers to know, so you can bid for flights. That mm -hmm. means you can request. request. Yes, yeah. you can ask the company, hey, this month I want this flight and this flight and this flight. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can put the, how many uh, times you want it in the roster and so on and so forth. So there's a <laughs> and few I options. didn't put, you didn't so put that's it, why so I, I just give it to yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> Barcelona, four of them, but no complaint. It's really now nice. you know Barcelona really well, I guess. <laughs> that's not my first layover because actually it's supposed to be Barcelona, but then I got a call and roster changed from the turnaround. To, they changed my two turnarounds to the, yes, uh, pff, I, how can yes, I guess? Yes, you know, you know, like what they do. like to give. Ah, uh, turn around. Huh? Turn around. No, it's the first, it, it's the, my first layover. So it's just guess. Your first layover? I, pff, I have no idea. You have no idea. Oh. Because they give this a lot to us. No? What, uh, London? Yes. <laughs> hey, see? Correct. <laughs> so I got London. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> no, because yeah. So okay, let me explain to the viewers. Mm -hmm. So basically, we have like four or five Londons per, per day. day. Yeah. So you, it it's a do you have a lot of chance of getting Londons, and mm -hmm. if there's lo uh, roster changes, you might get a London sometimes, mm -hmm. which is you know it's not bad. It's London. It's nice. Yeah. But English breakfast. So that was my first layover, but I didn't go out because. Actually, it was our really bad news for us and everyone because when we land, you mm -hmm. know, that was the first news that we got. It's uh, the queen die. Oh, the uh, queen die. Yeah. So, oh. so it was it was sad for us and the guests and everyone because the, it, it happened when we are there. So ah, we didn't know okay. before we fly. Out of respect for mm -mm, the queen, mm -mm. you know, I understand. That's uh, yeah. how about your Barcelona experience? Barcelona was. So so nice and then you know have you wondered i i used to wonder that how cabin crew go to like for the layover mm -hmm. and then they go out with the crew like how they talk okay <laughs> like i was just wonder like how they talk like we go uh in the plane and then hey are you going out <laughs> and it's just like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like that but when we work with someone and then we can the chemistry so or something. basically many times what happens probably you you will agree with me you're on the flight and you know you, you see somebody that you can relate to yes yes like, like hey that. we seem like we were buddies buddies mm -mm. what are you doing in the labor <laughs> let's go out and yeah. you know enjoy the labor and so. i was very lucky because the one that asked us out mm -hmm. was the cabin manager <laughs> Kevin Mandel, okay. Yeah, he tried to gather us together and go out and eat something. It's, so it was very nice. So we went out together, even with the the captain and mm -hmm. the first officer went out with, with me. And then they know that this is the second layover. And I explained already how uh, it was my first layover. Everybody so, wants to take the new crew out. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, like that. So we went to the beach and something. It's so nice. Like, you know, most of the time we would get the nice crew, of course, because we're nice. <laughs> and then, Nice attract, nice. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, most of them are nice. And then when we go out, we have a good time. And then we make sure that we have uh, enough sleep for the going back later. And then, uh, you know, yeah. I was, I'm always talking about this on, on my channel. Like, I, everything I do uh, surrounds, it's surrounded by, you know, sleep is in the middle and everything else is on the side of the sleep. If you get the good night rest, then mm -hmm. you can, you know, do your stuff, enjoy the day off and uh, whatever. But if you can't, and you're like a zombie that's a different story no it's not i guess you're agree. You, you've flown before it's so you know good. it's mm -hmm. yeah lack of sleep is is a killer in this airline in this uh, job yeah basically yeah um all right so your first month where are you flying next i swap so we can swap as well so we can request and then we can swap you can swap your flight yeah yeah so i i had for barcelona and i want to change one because for mm -hmm. me i think it's too much but actually it's not too much because it's a nice layover but as a new crew i want to explore somewhere else of course, right of course. so i try to swap with someone and i request for room mm -hmm. i got it you got the room yeah i got wow. one wow room for barcelona that makes Roma. a very good month yeah 
it's a cool cool mount european layovers <laughs> awesome awesome mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um all right let's uh, let's go back to the interview by the mm -hmm. way because so many of the viewers are curious about okay you're a new joiner you just joined the company yes. how was your experience and how I, what kind of advice you can give for for anybody that wants to join but yeah before let's just start with the basics so for me i was an architect before and then i just you know when i was architect yes i can explore somewhere and see the design and stuff but most of the time i would work with my computer which is for in the me office. It's, yeah in the yeah. office and the computer in university mm -hmm. so for me i just like want to go out of this like step out of the thing and and i can see people and see the world more and what else i can be makes sense yeah so basically Thank you good. you didn't want to just be stuck at the office yes. and you want to explore the world and a it's bit my more. personality as well yeah i just even want to talk with the laptop you know i just think like okay am i fit with this job what should i do what should i prepare so the thing is it's they're gonna they're gonna tell you that you fit or not in the interview day anyway mm -hmm. they can tell that's true yeah and what you have to prepare is you make sure that you can speak english because this is the language that we're gonna speak with our colleagues with our guests so prepare true. your english yes true. and true. Uh, true. You know, english Maybe. and uh, for your your confidence your personality it's like the thing that you don't have to make it that much it's just be yourself good well said mm -hmm. um yeah i always talk about this as well mm -hmm. uh it's important to know english guys and if you feel like your english skills aren't good enough you just have to prepare for it and you have to yes. you know do whatever possible to improve it all the time and you know self-improvement basically this is what we're we're talking about here right mm -hmm. um so okay his english is very good uh, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to ask you, uh, yeah. how, where was your, uh, where was your interview? Uh, it was in Bangkok. Bangkok. It's a Centra Grand Hotel. All right. Yeah, the center of the Bangkok, and then actually this one is invitation only. Okay, it was an so, assessment, mm -hmm. assessment day. So uh, there's <laughs> two types of interviews: open day and assessment. You guys know this, obviously, if you watch my watch my channel. Mm -hmm. Open day, everybody comes. There's like 500 people, a thousand people sometimes. Yes, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess uh, how many were still, in the assessment? Still a lot. Still a lot? <laughs> yeah, for me, uh, I think more than like three or four hundred. Like that. No way. Assessment yeah, yeah, it's day. a lot. But I think that some of them they try to walk in, but I don't know that they got they got denied or not. Ah, like, okay. I don't know. Wow. So in Thailand, we love being cabin crew. Like a lot of girls want to be cabin crew mm -hmm. and it's nice. And then it's our opportunity, of course. But for me, I got the invitation and a lot of girls, I think like two or three hundred. Yeah. Like that. Wow. That's, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Like for an assessment day, which is invitational. That's, uh, that's very high. So I, I just applied online first. We just, uh, sent the resume. We had three days mm -hmm. the first day was the hardest one for me okay you agree uh usually it is yeah. and it's, <laughs> it's a lot the, of people it's the pre-screen well, right? okay so the pre-screen is the hardest one for me because it's the you know first impression mm -hmm. the first time that you're gonna meet someone that gonna decide that they will accept you or no this time it's just your actually it's your upper appearance your personality the way you walk the way you talk it's very important that's correct yeah, yeah. how to impress someone in the first moment the yeah. first impression yeah first yep. impression is very very important and for me it's just you go there and then you sit and then some some conversation very short one like hi how are you like i try to initiate don't afraid to initiate the conversation because i just go there like some of them just go there and sit and wait for her for him to ask you something and mm -hmm. it's gonna be some gap and it might be awkward like okay yeah so, so I just, just be free to talk you know mm -hmm, don't mm -hmm. if you want to talk something just don't be afraid to yeah. do, right and then we know that they flew from abu dhabi to go there so it's okay for so how long you been here or like yeah how are you just like that so just That's show cool. them that we we're not that you know shaking or like scare or something mm -hmm. mm -mm. makes sense and uh so we have some conversation 
she asked me to introduce myself for short. So I just said my name, my experience, my age, just very short. And then we pick a card. Okay. So we go straight for the card already? Mm -mm -mm. We pick, awesome. We pick the card. It's just like uh, five cards or something mm -hmm. and pick one and say anything that you pop up on your head about that. Just like random thing or whatever you're going to say. And what was your subject? <laughs> Google Maps. Google Maps. That Google was the subject. Google Maps. Google Maps. Wow. And uh, before I pick the card, I introduce myself about what I've learned before. Mm -hmm. So I was architect, and uh, I study architect, right? Architecture, and in the major of city planning. Okay. So what my job in uh, what my previous job, what I did is to make the map. Wow. Mm. Wow, so it, it just fitted perfectly well. So basically, because yeah. you study architecture and mm -hmm. you got Google Maps mm -hmm. as a subject, yes. you can just, okay, let's speak about architecture things. <laughs> That's amazing, actually. Yeah, so yeah. I, just, cool. I just told her that, okay, as I said, I finished architecture, so I... I made a lot of map and then I realized that I, instead of doing map, I want to be Kevin Crow. <laughs> Go straight to the point. Not bad. And then she was laughing and then I was laughing like this. So yeah, just we can feel free to laugh as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for, for absolutely. some some like some little mistake or something that it's funny, we can laugh. Not like just very scared and serious about everything. Yeah. Well, it's called charisma, right? So if you are charismatic, no matter the situation, I mean, you can use your charm, you can laugh about things, you know, you're a human. So show them, show them your human side, right? Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. So for me, for me, I don't have, so for me, I think it's depend, uh, the, the pre-screen, it, it depend on your personality, your everything. Cause I cannot say that, say this and you're going to pass or this, this dialogue or mm -hmm this keyword or something like you being you and you show them something it's not what you answer but the way you answer they can tell that you're confident or not or you're ready to be cabin crew or not because it's just the way you walk there okay so how about after that uh, first introduction and the first okay. uh, challenge what was the next what was so, the next thing so uh, our second day yeah it was group discussion Group discussion time. Yeah. Nice. So for you, you have the same thing. I had the same thing. Yes. Six years ago, I had the same thing. Yes. What is the topic six years ago? <sighs> Something on a stranded island. I don't know if it's, it's the same. Uh, no way. <laughs> no, no, it's not the, the no? island. It's a, uh, no, it's not island, but I think it's kind of the same. For me, it was the, the, the boat rescue. Boat rescue. Okay. Yeah. I know so, this one. Mm -hmm. I know this one. So we, yeah, you can so they're gonna that. group, they're gonna group us to like 10 girls together and then uh, they're gonna go inside, we're gonna go inside the room, which is uh, all of the recruiter there and then uh, it has a table and then it has one paper there. Mm -hmm. They didn't tell us anything, just, just like, you know, go there and then someone have to read like you know instinct okay so i'm the one oh, okay <laughs> so i mean somebody like, reads out loud yeah yeah, yeah. like what to do now so yeah. we're gonna pick the card and then it was the character that we're gonna get and the the topic is if we are in the boat and it start to sink mm -hmm. uh and we have rescued boat and we have just five I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I think it's five seats or something. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get in there as this character or no? Or, or like which one have to be there? Or like just uh, like Do this. you remember the characters? I got soldier. You got soldier. Very easy. Nice. <laughs> How can what I? was the other ones? Uh, it was elderly. 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 <laughs> child. Child. Blind. What else? Cabin crew. Cabin crew. Soldier. I got soldier. And you got soldier. Pre so basically Pregnant, you decide like which that. ones mm -hmm. are going to survive. Not which one, but our, the, the one that we got. And the one you pick. Yeah, the one that we pick, but we're going to discuss as well. Like, okay, I got soldier. Should I be there? What do you think you should, like, you think I should go in the water? No, but for me, I think blah, 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 because I got well trained, I am strong and then something. Mm -hmm. I think this one is easy. Lucky me that I got soldier. So I just yeah. sacrificed myself and I didn't get into the boat because, you know, 
So for me, in the emergency situation, every life is matter, you know, and uh, we have to secure self first, you know, we know you that. that. Yeah, that. yeah, but nice. yeah, but I, I said that, but for this time, it's an emergency thing, and we have just limit seat mm -hmm. who who has a less ability to secure self. Makes sense. Should should get the priority, right? Priority, 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 yeah. Priority. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So who has the ability to mm -hmm. secure themselves mm -hmm. uh, less? Basically, mm -hmm. you you tell them that they should get priority. Yeah. All right. But at the end, we have to secure ourselves as well. As yeah, a course. soldier, we can do All right. So this was the uh, group session. You, and we you passed, know, you know, my group, we passed eight of us, which is a lot. Eight of you? Yes. Out of ten? Yes. Some of okay. the group, they passed one or two or like Out five. of the whole group? Yeah. We passed eight. Wow. Good. So there's groups of tens. Mm -hmm. Your group passed eight. The other groups sometimes one Somet or two. Yes. So you had a good group discussion, that means. So mm -hmm. that means everybody like kind of contributed towards the subject and yeah, uh, it was and generally a good cohesion, right? Yes. So for me, it's very important that we make sure that everyone can speak. If you notice that someone didn't have chance to speak, just give them floor. This is like we... We want everyone to to speak. So you pass this group session. Mm -hmm. uh, what came next? Yes. You have they have to refuse you nicely as well. And <laughs> it, was, it was the same in my case when mm -hmm. I had my interview. It was the same. They picked the ones that they succeeded they out of the room, and the ones that they didn't succeed, they mm -hmm. still stayed in the room. And then they just told them, you know, guys, um, you know, it it's not today for you. Mm -hmm. um, you have not been successful, but good luck for the next ones and stuff like that. So mm -mm. I guess that's that's a good way to to end things nicely. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, so eight of us will get inside the room again and then they'll say, congratulations, you passed for today. Yay. Yeah. Some of them are crying. Oh. Some of them. Really? Yeah, I understand. Like Because they were happy. Yeah, they are happy and wow. it has a very high like emotional yeah. kind of thing after that uh, another day is three days so the last day we we did the final interview and for us we pass through the final interview like almost 60 i guess uh, 60 people wow yeah, to, to the final interview guys when i say they need a lot of crew i i really mean it 60 people passed the, this interview in bangkok so that's that's quite a high number. That's quite a high number at one interview. Uh, no, I mean like past to pa past the group discussion. Ah, the group discussion. The okay, I thought the the final. No, interview. but actually, for the final, who passed the final is a lot as well. Like okay. fifty something. Okay, so just few of them mm. was rejected. Wow. Mm -mm. So out of those people, most of them passed the final interview. Yes, most of them. That's amazing. A lot of them. A mm. lot of us. Yes. yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Like, when did they send you mm. uh, email and everything? Was it the email or a golden call? It's what it was email. email. Everything was with the email. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was very fast. Just two days after the final interview, I got the oh, we have to do English test. Oh, let's not forget about the English test. Yeah, we're, we're not like just past final interview and then hundred percent begun. No, we have to do the English test, which is for me. It's quite hard. <laughs> really? It was yeah. online, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's not that hard, but it's not that easy. So be careful. Let's just make sure that you have knowledge. So after that two days, I got the, the English test. And after I sent back the English test, just a few hours, I got offer. Wow. So you <laughs> sent the fast. English test mm -mm. and in a few hours you mm -mm. got the offer. They worked very fast. There was a contract or uh, just not a contract yet. Just yeah, just congratulations and we wanna offer you this position with Etihad Airways. Nice. It was a very happy moment. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it was a very happy moment. And after that we just uh, try to prepare our document for the visa and stuff and about one week for me it's just one week and a half or something and we i just got the ticket very wow. fast and I, after the final interview and then the day that i came here it's just two weeks that's very fast that was very fast for me it was like one month something it's just two weeks like two weeks approximately two weeks that's really fast very yeah. fast quick tips for 
new joiners or rather for people that they want to join an airline and they mm-hmm. have no experience you know they're at the beginning of their life basically you know they got out of college they want to get hired by mm-hmm. an airline uh, airline uh, right as a cabin crew what what tips would you give to them as a new joiner as we talk before the first thing is uh you have to make sure that you study like english like you know english you can communicate it's not that like perfect every word you say is the correct grammar or something because sometimes mm-hmm. i use some i have some mistake as well for uh, the grammar like listen it's not our first language yes, right so it's not like yes it's but make easy. sure that you can communicate and you can mm-hmm. understand what they said and you can pass the the information that you want to pass and then a uh, second thing i would recommend is be yourself because if you're not yourself since the first day it's going to be hard for you when you work because you have to pretend to be someone all the time that's very well said yeah right that's very so well just said, be yeah. yourself and if you're fit they will choose you anyway and then you you have confidence and you have you have a right attitude mm-hmm. right attitude is very important so like a winner mentality as well. When I went to those interviews, I, I used to tell myself, Alex, you're going there to take the interview. You're not going there to participate. You're going you to know, take the You know what I, what I talked with my mom before I did the interview. What? So I used to apply for the cabin crew job before and I not like pass because like that was my first time and I said to my mom like mom I'm going to like cabin crew and then like thousands of girls is the open day <laughs> how can I get it I cannot yeah. and I still went there and I cannot okay. like what I said I'm so afraid or something I said I'm not going to apply for cabin crew I'm going to be cabin crew yes <laughs> it's just like That's that it. very That's confident it. to go there and just check make sure and checklist that what you have to practice more what you have to give more and you just working on it and make sure that you will fit this job and mm-hmm. you will fit this job. It's as simple as that. Amazing. All right. Now you are here in Abu Dhabi. How do you find this place? How do you find, uh, you know, the desert? Basically, we're living in the desert, right? Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, of course, it, it's hot, but it's not that hard for me because in Thailand, we are hot as well. <laughs> in Thailand, you're hot as well, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The weather is hot, yes. <laughs> the weather is hot as well. So it's awesome. not that hard for me. But the thing is, when we change to another country, we have to like adjust ourselves. And the accommodation here is really nice. I guess everybody saw the accommodation, Etihad <laughs> accommodation <laughs> video <laughs> on my channel. Before I joined, you know, what did I do? I searched Etihad Airways accommodation and I found this guy, you know, and I'm here with this guy. How come? It, it was very nice and it's just like, what you see and uh we have two room and separate the bathroom everything very private actually we don't have just one accommodation we have like four or five or something right yeah mm-hmm. uh, so for example in the accommodation we are in now that's my place right here it it's nice everything is new it's a bit small this is usually the common complaint but, but it's compact yeah everything is here yeah mm-hmm. yeah obviously yeah uh, but you have other accommodations as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, other Raha opened up, mm-hmm. which is huge, and the balcony is huge, and everything. So there's it's it's quite a diverse range of accommodations, and they planning to open more because of so many new joiners. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but anyway, my I like my apartment. My apartment's nice. You know, I configured it as I want, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's nice because uh, we live here like a community yes yeah a lot of cabin crew live here and we have everything here we have gym here we have swimming pool we have the the even the mall is here yeah yeah starbucks everything cafe and everything just here and we have i like blue taxi oh yeah the, 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 we have, yeah, yeah we can call someone and then someone will pick us up That's for true. free and yeah. then we can go anywhere in mass that is it was it is a city I will put it into context. So we have those cars that are electric Mm -hmm. and you just call them and then they come and they pick you up and just drive you to the mall. Let's say it's too hot outside Mm -hmm. and you don't want to walk for five or 10 minutes until you reach the mall. You just take one of those electric vehicles Mm -hmm. and they're free. It Mm -hmm. doesn't cost anything. It's just because you're living here in this community. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah, that's nice. It's quite nice. <laughs> did you get a chance to explore Abu Dhabi to go in the city or, you know, the Corniche, the beach? Okay, so 
not much yet. Okay. Yeah, because I just knew here it's just like few months and then actually I went to the Cornish once. Okay. It's it's nice. It's the beach here yeah. and yeah, everyone is like very feel free to go there and everyone feels, seems happy there and yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah, too. it's a cool vibe. Mm. Um, it's free, of course. You can just go to the Corniche. It's mm. an open beach. The sand is very, um, you know, it's fine, let's say. And you can just go and swim and it's nice. And you have the background of the skyscrapers in the back. So it's, yeah, it's quite cool. Um, I hope you'll discover more about Abu Dhabi yeah. uh, soon. You can go around, roam around. There's many things to see. Even me, sometimes I feel like I haven't discovered the city as much in those <laughs> six years. So it really depends. Mm -hmm. How about Dubai? I went there once. You went once? Yeah, I went nice. there once with my friend. So uh, actually, I, we just go straight to the, the thing, the, the Khalifa. What Burj, is Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa, yeah, awesome. <laughs> we have to, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so we yeah. just go there and then we have some like the fountain and stuff yeah. it was short time it was very nice like mm -hmm. it's a must yeah of course and then it's not that far from here it's one hour or something oh and you should see the top of the building though you haven't been i want to go <laughs> you will you will for sure it's it's amazing like you see the view of the whole city ah oh, you will see you will see i'm sure you will enjoy it and you will like it mm -hmm. um all right thank you very much for this uh interview let's Let's not say interview. No, How about this interview. casual talk? <laughs> this is a casual it's talk very we casual have. casual talk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, mm -hmm. I wish you good luck here in Etihad flying and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, please, guys, if you have more questions about uh, Nali, uh, you can ask down below. Uh, we can answer <laughs> them. Maybe yeah. Maybe a few of them will answer uh, together in the comment section. So, yeah, uh, refer to that. Um, I wish you happy rosters and plenty of nice flights and Barcelona. long layovers and more Barcelona <laughs> Bangkok <laughs> and uh, yeah until next time guys please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet you know how it goes right I did <laughs> <laughs> bye bye see you guys on the next bye. one take care